Hey guys, welcome back to the video chat Golang project series. In this video, we're going to work on the room viewer connection function. So how did we come here? We basically uh, have built the room viewer WebSocket function. And why did we build it? Because in our server.go file, you can see that there are uh, the, our routes are set for chat WebSocket and viewer WebSocket. For chat WebSocket calls the room chat WebSocket function which we built in the chat uh, file, room chat WebSocket. And in the room, we'll build the room viewer WebSocket, which is again, uh, you know, coming from server.go file. We've already mentioned this function. So when we are building our room viewer WebSocket function out here, we made a call to the room viewer connection. And that's the function we want to build right now, the room viewer connection, okay? And this function is going to use uh, the connection function, the next writer function from our uh, fiber. In our fiber, we'll, we'll get access to the next writer function. And let's, let's see, let's see that in action. So first, we'll start off with creating a ticker, time dot new ticker for one second dot second and then you will defer ticker stop and you will defer c dot c being the websocket connection which is dot close we will run for loop select cases And here is where uh, we are using our next writer function, which I mentioned, which essentially creates a new writer and sends a text message. So let's let's learn more about this function. I'm not able to click on it. Actually, if I save it, I should be able to click on it. Hopefully, no, I'm still not able to click on it um, because I wanted to show you this function actually from inside what it looks like. Uh, I think I will have to run, uh, I'll have to run the um, go mod tidy command and then hopefully it should work. Okay, so let me let me complete this uh, function so that I don't leave it by mistake, don't leave it empty by mistake. And then what we'll do is we'll run the go mod tidy function, uh, the, the go mod tidy command. fmt dot sprint f okay so everything else is quite straightforward only this function is something that I want to show you guys um, so yeah let's go ahead and run the go mod tidy so here let's run the go mod tidy in our terminal it should hopefully find all the packages that we need, including Python, fast HTTP that we definitely need. And we'll find our function in fast HTTP, the next writer function. Let me check back there. If I'm able to check this function or not otherwise I'll show it to you on Google if if it's not able to get from here uh, and, and we don't have a lot of time I will show it to you on Google so it was taking uh, a while for the go mod diary to run so I've opened it up on uh, the browser so the next writer returns a writer for the next message send the writers close method flushes the complete message to the network and there can only be one writer open at a, on a connection and the next writer closes the previous writer if the, if the application has already not done so. So this was what your next writer function does and coming back, uh, this basically we're getting it from the fast HTTP library and uh, this means that only one function is left which is the create or get room function. 
So let's start with that. So we'll say we'll start with the standard stuff rooms lock dot lock, then defer w dot rooms lock dot unlock using the SHA-256 algorithm to create new and then you say h dot write write uuid right so you don't want your uuid to be not hashed so that's why you'll hash it suuid is equal to fmt dot printf so to create a secure uuid for streaming you will use uh, the regular uuid and then you'll hash it with the start of physics algorithm h dot sum nil then you'll say if room equal to w dot rooms uuid room is not equal to nil for streams you'll use suuid and if not okay then you say w dot streams suuid equal to room and from this whole thing what you return is UUID, SUUID and the room. Okay. Create a hub, chat.new hub. And initialize the peers for track locals. You will make a map which will have string and webrtc dot track local static rtp in the room i want the peers to be because rooms room is a uh, struct right the struct that struct requires peer and a hub and I'm going to pass peer and a hub to it and at the end we'll have rooms UUID is equal to room and for streams we are using SUUID and that will also be equal to room because room has peers and hub and you'll go hub.run and from here you'll return UUID, SUUID and room. Now the track local static RTP uh, function is uh, obviously belongs to WebRTC, then the PyN library. Uh, but there is a lot of confusion between the track local static RTP that we are using, uh, this one, and the uh, track local static sample. So there is a GitHub issues page about both of them. Should you be using static uh, RTP and static local static sample? What's the difference between them? So I, I recommend you taking a look at this and Pyen themselves have answered at the end. All right, so I hope, uh, so we've done quite a bit. Uh, the chat file is complete. The room file is now complete. And in the next video, we're going to start tackling our stream file. So that is, uh, that may take one video or two videos, depending on uh, how long we can create a video. So I think probably two videos will take two videos to complete stream handlers. And then at least all the handlers are done. And then we'll start focusing on the WebRTC uh, logic side of things. All right. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And, uh, and then it'll take us a few videos to complete the series. So I hope you're also enjoying it as much as I am. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.